How important is viewport when training? If someone said, there's nothing neither good nor bad, but thinking that makes it so. You've probably heard it. <laughs> and what, what does it mean? Well, there are people that do not train and they're happy. There are people that do train and they're happy. There are people that are fat and they're happy. And there are people that are not fat and they're happy. We can be happy despite our circumstance and despite where we are and despite what's going on. This attitude when you apply it to training, now let's say you have a good day of training. Good day could mean many different things to different people. Perhaps you went to the gym and there was no one there. You had all the machines <laughs> that you needed. That perhaps to you was a good day of training. Perhaps you had a bad day of training. <laughs> you went and there was no machines, <laughs> just one. And uh, you just you just you get, got irritated. And that to you was a bad day of training. Well, I had a day when there were so many people in the gym that it forced me to train differently. And I told my friend today, it was interesting that although I trained differently, I found it was interesting because there were things that I did that I wouldn't normally have done, or the training was um, quite different. And I found it to be beneficial. So sometimes our outlook and our training can make a big difference. We may have to change our training because of a different reason, or maybe our training is not the way it usually is, but having the right attitude can make a big difference. So it's the same for time. Now let's say you've been training for uh, a short period of time or a long period of time. <laughs> um, some people can say, wow, I just started training, so you know what? I'm no good. I, I, I'm not as good as the other person. Or some people can say, it's, it's, it's great that I started training. I've been thinking about it for a long time, and I'm glad I'm in the gym. All right, it's the same thing. You could be training for a long time. Um, perhaps you haven't seen the results that you need to find. Um, I've always said to my friend that the good thing I like about him is that he's consistent over the years in training. That's one thing. No matter who it is, even the great bodybuilders who have trained, consistency is very important. So if you can clamp down on consistency, then you can get anywhere. So it may be that you've been training for a long time and you haven't seen the results that you want. Thank yourself for being consistent. You've gotten that one thing down. Now, perhaps you can um, build a routine or, or do change your routine to become more effective. And that's okay, <laughs> that's a goal, you can set. But our outlook when it comes to training can make all <laughs> the difference. All the difference in our enjoying the training, all the difference in our training becoming more successful, and all the difference in our continuing to train. So maintain a good outlook, or <laughs> change the outlook if it's not good, <laughs> and enjoy the training. It's very important when you are in the training, not solo piensa to to a musculoso or to to a, um, a phys physical. It's necessary to record that. Most important to piensa, piensa correcto. When you are in the training, much of the time you are in the training, and you are very bien, very feliz, very feliz. Ah, bueno. At the days you are not very bien and it's not feliz, it's okay. Um, solo voy al treno and es muy bien <laughs> es importante para el treno y no necesito feliz cuando es el treno o no feliz solo es el treno es muy bien para tu cuerpo es muy bien para tu vida entonces tu piensa el treno es más importante cuando tu terminó ok voy a discoteca voy a comida voy a, a tu esposa voy a tu familia entonces tu feliz pero cuando tu es el treno el treno es importante